Okay, so we're gonna do a review of some stiletto hammers. I finally got my tie bone three in today, special edition. Waited all summer. I'm not sure what they had to redo on that one, but Acme Tools said they weren't being sent out because something had to be redone. So I waited all summer to get this bad boy. Wow! Wow is right. <laughs> Do you like it? Okay, so the major differences the head seems to be improved. It's a steel head versus like on one of these cheaper ones that only have titanium head, which you can see this is only one week's worth of use. And it's already starting to get flat, if I can focus in on that. Put your hand behind that, Brody. Closer. Okay. I don't know why that's not working. Uh, anyway, it's already starting to get flat. This one's a little... With the steel head, it will not do that. Uh, Not as much. It, this one's a little heavier than this one. It's yep. um, cheap and... That one's a 14 ounce. And, and See? This the, is, it's a 14 ounce. The back is not that sharp as this one. Yeah. These ones, for some reason, are always really sharp when you first get them. These ones aren't. But they both serve a purpose. This is a great handle. It's really thin, so for smaller hands, it feels great in the hand. This one's just a tiny bit thicker. Both feel really good in the hand. Figured I'd go with the bright orange special edition. Kind of stands out from the rest of them. Um, they say that this head is one of the major things that they've remade on it. It no longer will twist. It used to turn with the tie bone twos. That would turn and your nail set would not line up. Magnetic nail holder. And I'm not exactly sure what else they improved on. It's cold. The, the handle feels really good. I, I don't remember my Tybone 2 handle feeling this nice, but I do like this one. 235 bucks plus tax. I think that one was 242 total. Versus this is like a $85 hammer, I think. Can you say it was 100? Let me know what you guys think of your Tybone 3s.